For over 700 years, this side street in Kamakura has hosted an annual gathering of extreme warriors whose lives follow the protocols of a feudal age long past. This is pre-match practice for Ogasawara Ryu Yabusami, mounted archery from the Ogasawara clan. Dawn trials completed, the riders get into their best duds and hats, and the town comes out to watch as the ceremonial combat begins. Because today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. And off it goes, let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Bang. Oh. The archer has to try and hit three wooden targets as he belts down the 260 meter long runway. He looked like he was cracking himself, didn't he? But it's always horrible when you're the first one to a go. To fire the three arrows, the rider must first let go of the reins. And to make things more difficult, the archer has only his toes in contact with the horse. Bang, number two down. Not surprisingly, plenty of these guys take a dive in the process into the sand-covered asphalt. These guys here, this clan, have been doing exactly the same thing for 800 years. We, we lost that back home, haven't we? You don't go out and watch the jousting at the weekend. Yabu Sami training follows a strict etiquette. Every aspect of the mounted archery skill has its own specialist. And it can take years before you get a real horse between your legs. One bloke who'd been doing it for eight years, just firing fake arrows, and the master still wouldn't let him on, his, on a horse yet. And it's unbelievable, isn't it? It seems like madness, but it's all part of their thing, that formality. It's not to everyone's taste. But the locals love it. Another thing they're doing is they're shouting in your as they go down. And just before they release the arrows, it's an old samurai prayer meaning dark and light. Just to pick up the spirit, isn't it? Yeah, kind of makes you feel a bit more, a bit more courageous, doesn't it? A bit of Dutch courage. They're rock stars, aren't they? And they're giving it the big one out here today. It's kind of nice, isn't it, you know? And it's a real turnout. All the folks come out. All the local dignitaries and stuff are out here having a whale of a time. The peasants are outside. Keep the peasants out! These men, and they're all men, are the elite of traditional Japanese martial artists. They're also the aristocracy of Japan. It's a bit like armed polo, without the pins. Except our own blue bloods wouldn't subject themselves to hours of torture on a strange contraption, howling like a banshee. At least not in public, anyway. The key for beginners is about not worrying about the ceremony, because as soon as I was confused with thinking about this, and that's got to go there, and then you've got to do this, and then you've got to do that, it was like the arrows were going all over the place. But as soon as I thought, I'll oh, stop this, yeah, just get the arrows in the target, bang, straight in. <laughs> target, arrow, simple as that. The same with martial arts, exactly the same. If you're always thinking about the, just the ceremony and the movements, first thing you do when the guy comes up to you with his fists, yeah, you, you bow to him and he kicks you in the nose. Here he goes, straight into it, look at that. That uh, is wicked, he's up for it, look at him. He's definitely, ooh, bang, wicked. That's a warrior spirit, yeah? Nice. Those arrows that hit the targets correctly, they're preserved as good luck charms by the people. And they say that if the warriors did well when they were shooting the arrows, that the country will have good luck for the next year. One of my teachers told me an interesting story about a famous warrior who could shoot a rabbit while he was on horseback. This warrior came into town one day and there was this old guy pouring oil. The warrior got really pissed off with the guy because he didn't bow to him. The old man said, I'm not going to bow to you because I can pour my oil coin in the old days the coins had little holes in and he showed him poured it through the warrior was a bit flummoxed and he went off seven years later apparently the warrior came back got off his horse in front of his men and bowed down to the oil sales so the point of that story is that it, it, it's only a skill it doesn't matter that your skill can kill people or your skill can pour oil with that statement apparently the warrior became enlightened <laughs> 